In this video, we will explore migrating user Stitch libraries from Stitch Mastery version 2 into version 3, and we'll also look at what happens when you open a version 2 chart into version 3. Firstly, we will look at where our version 2 user Stitch libraries will appear when we open version 3 for the first time. So we want to go to Preferences. On Windows, this appears under the Tools menu. Or if you're using Mac, you'll have a Stitch Mastery menu in the top left corner and Preferences appears under there. So open Preferences. You may find that the little blue arrow here is closed and you need to click it to open the drop down menu and we click on Stitch Libraries. So in this dialog, you see there are three tabs, Stitch Mastery Libraries, User Libraries for version 3 and user libraries for before version 3. This is where your version 2 libraries will appear that are stored on your machine. So I have one example here, the garter stitch dot English. And if you have version 2 user stitch libraries saved elsewhere or you've just been emailed one, you can use the import button to browse on your computer to find these libraries to add them into version 3. You also see we have the migrate button and we will come back to that. So I'm going to cancel out of this at the moment. Now we're going to look at what happens when you open an existing knit2 file that you've created in version 2 into Stitch Mastery version 3. So that you can see the changes in action, I'm first of all going to show you a design in Stitch Mastery version 2. So here we have a shawl lace design and a few things to point out about this example you see here three into three gathered stitch which at the moment is using the one column wide symbol and you can also see that we have knit into the front and back denoted by a V symbol in the output text we can see the knit front and back and the three into three and also worth noting if you see my row one we have K for knit yarn over and knit two and that K is denoting a single stitch so knit one is denoted by just the letter K Let's take a quick look at the stitch library used for this design. I'm going to open diagram and edit diagram properties. And we click on stitch library and text templates. So this design is currently using the stitch library garter st stitch dot English, which is the library you've just seen in version three. And it's using the default text template. So come out of this and I'm going to close this chart now. We'll head back into version 3 and open that same chart file. So Estonian lace diamond shawl and you can see it looks exactly the same. So this is a, a version 2 chart file opened in version 3 looks exactly the same. We have the same 3 into 3 gathered stitch, one column wide. We have the same V for knit front and back. In the text we still have 3-3 and we still have KFB. One thing that has changed however is the text for that single knit stitch. So if you recall when we had the chart open in version 2 the default output text had the single knit explained by just the letter K. The default text template for version 3 has been changed so that single knit or purl stitches will be denoted by K1 or P1 and that change has been made based on the feedback we received from our survey in 2017 but it's entirely possible to change this if you prefer to have a single K or P. You can change that by creating your own text template in the style sheets option under preferences. There are links in the description below this video to explain where to find details of how to do that if you're unsure. 
if we open diagram and edit diagram properties, we can see under the Stitch Library and Text Templates tab that the current Stitch Library is a version 2 library, so the garter stitch.english, and as I mentioned, we are using the default text template. Now, it's worth pointing out at this point that no changes have been saved to this chart. So if you are not happy with what has been changed, or if you're thinking you want to have a play but you're not really sure about what might happen to your original chart, you can either, right now, close this chart by simply clicking close, or you can go to File and Save As, and save a copy of this with whatever name you want and then close your original file no changes have been saved that file will remain untouched and you can come back to editing that in version 2 if you prefer if you decide that you want to take advantage of the new customization tool for stitches in version 3 you want to continue working on this chart but using the new things that version 3 can give you, then we'll need to change to a version 3 user stitch library. As you'll be aware, because you've already created your own user stitch library in the past, default stitch mastery libraries can't be customised and stitch mastery version 3 will not allow you to customise version 2 libraries. This is because we've moved away from fonts for the default libraries and the symbol sets contain SVG images rather than fonts, so the two are not compatible. If we go back to Edit Diagram Properties and the Stitch Library tab, you'll see that we have options to choose under the Stitch Library drop-down menu, just the same as version 2, and you can see there's no version 3 garter stitch library here and that's because we haven't migrated it yet. So I'm going to come out of this and we'll go back to Preferences, open User Libraries Before Version 3, select the Garter Stitch Library and click Migrate. Welcome to Version 3 Stitch Library Migrating. To get the best out of Version 3 and to be able to edit custom stitches in this library, it's recommended that you migrate it to the Version 3 format the original Stitch Library is left unchanged, so you'll still have your version 2 version of your Stitch Library. So we click Next, and similar to importing or creating your own libraries, you have options to change the name, the location, and so on to suit. And I'll just leave these options as they are. Click Finish. And the library opens up so if I wanted to edit any of the stitches to customize them I could do that right now but for now I'll just click OK and you see the garter stitch version 3 library now appears under the user libraries version 3 tab so we'll click apply and close you will be aware having created your own user libraries before that you need to tell Stitch Mastery that you want to use that user library. So back into Edit Diagram Properties and I'm going to click and select Garter Stitch dot English. And this warning pops up. Now changing from a version 2 Stitch Library into a version 3 library can't be reversed. So if I change to a version 3 library I can't go back to a version 2 library in this chart. But this is why we have saved a copy of the file or if you haven't done save as to create a copy you can click the cross and click cancel and go and create a copy if you're not sure about what might happen next. But I'm going to click OK and OK again. I'll also refresh the text in the key because as you will see some of the stitches have changed definitions in version 3. I'm now using the version 3 edition of my garter stitch library and if we scroll along to the key you will be able to see the changes. I picked up on these stitches earlier, the 3, three into 3 gathered and the knit into front and back. 
These stitches have been changed in version 3, again responding to the feedback we received in the survey in 2017 about the convention of having stitch symbols taking up the same amount of columns or stitches as they would when you have worked the stitch. So the 3 into 3 gathered stitch results in 3 stitches on your needle. At the moment, or previously, the stitch symbol was only one column wide and that has now been denoted as the old version. The knit front and back symbol was the same for the slip stitch symbol so there's a new version of that in version 3. But we are aware that people may prefer to continue using the previous way so these stitches are still available to use and you can edit the key entry to remove the word old and Similarly, in your output text, you can remove that word old. If we want to find the old versions of the stitches, scroll to the bottom of the palette and you'll see there's a folder called version 2 old stitches and all of these stitches have been changed. So these are the old versions available, but we can use the new version if we prefer. I will go into Estonian gathered stitches, find the new 3 into 3 gathered which is now 3 stitches wide and I can place this in my chart. You'll see that it appears in my key and similarly the knit front and back, the new version can be found in the knit increases. Here, knit into front and back it appears in the key and as you can see in the output text we actually have parallel front and back as this stitch has been placed in the wrong side row but if we place it in the right side row you can see here KFB for knit front and back and also the 3 into 3 gathered stitch was in row 9 and its description is still 3-3 and to compare the two, how they look, you can see we've got fewer no stitches by using these new versions of the stitches, which is hopefully easier for the knitter to understand. And we can then save this version of the chart if we're happy.